to you. Come. Come. Just watch the bodies, all right? Praise God. Just stand over right here. Hello. Don't go away. <laughs> you want some more? Oh, praise God. You know what? God will give you more than you were expecting. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. There goes the arthritis in the back of the neck. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That's the power of God on it. Power of God on it. That's the power of God on the arthritis. Praise God. God loves you. What's your name? Anna. Anna. Where are you from, Anna? Um, um, I mean originally. Yeah, originally. You don't Polish. sound like you're I'm Polish. Polish. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. What did you come for tonight? Well, I came for spiritual healing. Yeah. Sorry, I cry. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Jesus cried. Did yes. you know that? Amen. Yeah. So what do you mean by spiritual healing? Uh, well, I think I have some sort of blockages. So I can't explain it what it is. But um, I think he knows. So I'm seeing you trying really hard to find God. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm tr seeing you struggling hard, but it's like you can't move. Yes, exactly what it is. I know he's there, but it's very hard to break the... Are you ready? Wall. You ready? For Jesus to heal you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. She couldn't move towards God because she was bound. Whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. She's loosed in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Well, that is the power of God going through her. Praise God. Anna, what are you feeling there? Tell, talk to me, Anna. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Hey? Just vibrating. She's being delivered. Praise Amen. God. That's the power of Jesus Christ going through her. Healing her, delivering her. She won't have to strive anymore with God. She's entered into his rest tonight. You're free, Anna. You're free. Just enjoy the power of God. What, what you say is true. She's been trying to get... Hang on, hang on for a sec. Let's talk to you. Come. What's, who are you? Uh, I'm a husband. You would know all about it. Yes, and what she said was true. She's mm. been trying to get to know God quite a lot. And uh, I think there was something blocking her to actually reach that. She's been having visions. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I've ha been having these visions for quite some time. But I just don't know what these visions are all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had demonic bondage. It's, it's, that's what the Lord's breaking off now. You see how she's shaking? Yeah. See how she's shaking? That is the same power that heals broken bones and removes cancer. That's the power of Jesus Christ for removing chains that cannot be seen. Yeah. Bond, like bondage. She's been bound for many years, but she's been set free. She, you want, you want, it's like you want to know who your wife is. I'm looking forward to that. Hey? I'm looking forward to that. Amen. Amen. You want to help her up, someone? Praise God. You've had some surgery, haven't you? There we go. How are you going? Amazing. Amazing? Yeah. What did you feel happen? When I was trying to change the position of my body, I couldn't move. You couldn't move? No, and my body was shaking. Wow. So um, you couldn't move, but someone was shaking you? Each time I was, try I was trying to move, it was like stiff, like... You couldn't move? I couldn't move. Yeah. Jesus so Christ was, had you. Yes. He was yes. holding you. You're free. Your bondage is over. Okay. Before actually you, I just want to tell you, before you put 
me down. Jesus put you down, yeah. <laughs> I could feel amazing power, something that I couldn't withstand. <laughs> you couldn't withstand could the power of Jesus. Oh, no. I could feel it that um, the power was just coming up on me. It was so, so strong. Yeah. yeah. Amazing feeling. Sorry? Amazing feeling. Your prayers have been answered. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now you're going to go to another level. Now that you are, have broken, been set free and loosed by Jesus. I had the chains, I know. Hmm? I had the chains, I know. You had? Yes, I know. I had. I could feel So, them. So tell us about them. I mean, I've been having dreams and vision and all that thing, but something was preventing going any further. Mm -hmm. I knew I had some demonic powers over me, stopping me from from doing whatever Jesus is asking me to do. Mm. So now I'm seeing you, let's call it going to another level. Uh, um, you, you couldn't enter into the ministry and the things that God had called you to because you are bound. Yes. But now you're free. So you can do I them now. Like hey? I feel like that. Yeah, you're free. Yeah. Um, like the chains has fallen off, like happiness inside. You feel happy? Yes. Amen. There is joy inside of my head. Amen. Praise God. Amen, husband. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, yes. Yeah. You know, in the marriage, you were, you were holding back because of the bondage, all right? There you go. Hmm? Yes. But now, if you, see, if you see the marriage like two horses, you were, yeah. you were pulling back. You know, yes, like a was, cart. Hmm? There was something pulling me back. Now your husband's going to have trouble keeping up with you. <laughs> Amen. Well, I had a bondage, which Jesus actually released me from. So what was the bondage? Um, it was some kind of um, things that happened in the past that I went through as a child. And How I did it affect you? Well, basically I was having like a um, little bit of anxiety, pain and associated with all this. I was having a problem to come to God, there was something like blocking me. And what happened um, after I was delivered... Um, so yes. what happened when you were delivered? What did you feel happened? What happened basically the blockage was gone. Yeah. And... Um, so you felt a blockage there? I felt it go and it went away and I felt like a little curtain covering me from the things that happened in the past so I couldn't feel any pain associated with it, any, any, any feelings. I could remember the things that happened and the people who maybe hurt me or did certain things but no feeling attached, nothing, it was everything quite out. So how have you been since the deliverance? Since the deliverance, actually, God is giving me lots of visions, dreams, and He's flooding my mind during the night, waking me up for the word of prayers whenever there is any problem that I have to fight. And He floods my thing, my mind like a wave of um, scriptures, like I was in kind of situation lately that it was kind of hopeless, and I said, Jesus, you take, it, take care of all this. And I just had peace, I just didn't worry, I just knew he's going to take care of it. And he was slowly accomplishing everything, so I was getting, I was, I was repeating his um, um, promises. 
I was meditating on it, and I was repeating his promises to me that this is what he promised. I told, uh, you said I'll be victorious. Uh, victorious, you said that you won't put the righteous to shame. And he was just giving me the exact results as I wanted. And the night, actually, when everything's supposed to be accomplished and done, it was like a series of, of events. He woke me up in the middle of the night when I was half asleep, half awake, and, and he said, it was like a wave coming through my, on my mind saying, trust me, all good things come from me. And this, and you know, I woke up, I was thinking, why would he tell me this? And then it came to my mind, go to the mailbox, and when I went to the mailbox, that thing was there, which I was waiting for two months. It was what? Um, what, what was in the mailbox? We, we, we were just waiting for our police clearance certificate from Germany, which was taking quite a lot of time. Um, and my citizenship was kind of like hanging in a... I didn't know what was going to happen. So what was in the mailbox? My police clearance. From Praise Germany. God. And plus also there was some issue with Germany that we had, which we didn't know about it. And it involved like lots of money that we would have to pay. And Jesus cleared it off. And it was just a miracle because people usually are fine for this. Now, you know God is generous. Yes. yes. If you then, who are evil, says the Bible, mm -hmm. know how to give good gifts to your children, exactly. how much more will your Heavenly Father give you the Holy Spirit? That's right.